gay man walks into a pet shop and says he'd like to buy a fly. The pet shop owner says, I don't sell flies. Really, says the man. Well, you've got one in the window. <laughs> Fancy a can of burp plastic cola, Dave? <laughs> Not just now, I know. I'm a bit concerned about Basil. You'll go crazy when you see what I have to offer. And I mean crazy. And I must be crazy too, cos I'm almost giving them away. He's talking to an empty chair now. <laughs> Don't you think he's a bit old for an invisible friend? Yeah, that's what I just said to Eric. <laughs> Didn't I, Eric? Would you, could you, hello? <laughs> the sweetest you will find. Basil. Oh, but... <laughs> How can I put this? I think you finally lost it. On the contrary, Dave. I very much found it. I'm practising my sales technique, cos I'm the star of the new Jelly Babies TV commercial. <laughs> my dream job. Dream on. I'm just on my way to clinching a monster deal that will make your trifling earnings look like peanuts. Guys! <laughs> I have got the answer to all our financial problems. Oh, not you as well. Duh. You're not going to hurt my little red beauties, are you, Liam? No. Just the opposite, Madison. My fantastic high-speed growth lamp will make your little red beauties grow into the biggest, reddest tomatoes you've ever seen. That's all very well. But we can't pay the bills with big red tomatoes. Basil, when I sell my new invention for millions, worrying about paying the bills will be a thing of the past. <laughs> now, put them down there, Madison. And here goes. Micro food from microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. My beautiful tomatoes. <laughs> I'll give Liam his due. He's got some stamina. <laughs> he never gets tired of getting things wrong. When it comes to jelly babies, the cutest you will find are Basil's jelly babies. They are the sweetest... ...kind dog. <laughs> oh, hi, Dave. How did the big meeting go? Ah, sweeter than a jelly baby, Basil. Just got to make sure the small print on this contract's too small for the poor schmuck to read. <laughs> when it comes to jelly babies, the cutest you will find Oh, bezels, ah. jelly babies. One final check. They are the sweetest cat. <gasps> no, Dave, don't! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Is that small print small enough for you now, Dave? <laughs> Dave? Uh, 
Like, can you say that again, Dave? That's all you All right, there's no need to shout. You could have told me about Liam's stupid lamp. Don't worry, Dave. We'll have you back to your normal size as soon as I've fixed this. Ooh. I don't believe this. What about my big business deal? My big dreams? My big plans? <laughs> they just went up in smoke. Uh, no, let's not panic. We should all try to carry on as normal while I fix the lamp. <laughs> carry on as normal? You've got to do something quick. You're right. We've got to try to make you grow somehow. <gasps> That's it. We need to feed Dave up with good, wholesome food. Then he'll grow. Good, wholesome food. <laughs> An animal's calf. <laughs> Point taken. But we have to feed Dave up quickly, otherwise he'll just waste away. Someone mentioned Dave. Hey. I could do with seeing him. Huh? You'll have a job. Ah. <laughs> yeah, he is hard to get hold of these days, yeah? <laughs> he owes me a fortune. I think you'll find he's a little short at the moment. <laughs> boom, boom. Basil, that is not funny. Uh, double large mega fries, please, Anna. <laughs> Coming right up. I hope this works, Basil. So do I. Otherwise, Dave's... Had his chips. <laughs> Double large mega fries. Easy. There you go, Dave. <laughs> well, it'll either build him up or knock him out. <laughs> well, come on then. Eat up. We're closing as soon as I've done this washing up. Right. We're closing. Keep your penny on. Just one more chip to go. In that case... No! He was gobbling that last fry. <laughs> I'm not swallowing that. <laughs> I'm afraid you already have. <laughs> Come on. We've got to save Dave. You're winding me up. This is a big prank for a new TV show with hidden cameras in it. <laughs> I've not really eaten Tiny Dave. <laughs> we'll prove it, Anil. Otherwise, I'm going to have to punch my way out. <laughs> stop! Stop! OK, Dave, stop punching. In fact, everyone just calm down. Don't panic. At least we've got time on our side. Shrunken tomatoes have returned back to their normal size. <gasps> Brilliant. Um, not exactly. If that's happened to the tomatoes, won't the same thing happen to Dave in a couple of hours? <laughs> now you can panic. <laughs> Got to think scientifically. <laughs> Perhaps not scientific enough. I'll get it. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, right. five minutes. Yeah. I'll tell him. Basil, oh. you're needed on the Jelly Baby oh, set in five minutes. You better go. <laughs> go? But Dave could get dissolved by animal stomach acid or burst out of his stomach when he returns to his oh. normal size. <laughs> but Basil, this is like totally your dream job. The opportunity you've been waiting for all your life. Yeah, and uh, it is only Dave. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm going all right. Going to think of a way to get Dave back. Liam, tell them I have something more important to do. Hmm. Come on, Basil. We've only got one hour, 50 minutes, 30 seconds, and 17 nanoseconds. Uh, 28 seconds and 10 nanoseconds. 26 seconds and 14 nanoseconds. Yes, OK. We haven't got much time before Dave returns back to normal. Dave, normal. <laughs> well, how he was before. Uh, anyway, introducing... <laughs> Operation Save Dave. Liam and myself are going to travel through Enel's body in a dimensionally reduced replicate intergalactic vessel. A what? A toy spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> and how are we supposed to get into that? <laughs> 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 oh, no way, matey. I'm not getting shrunk down. Uh, it's in your contract, matey. Check the very small print. <laughs> OK, now. On our incredible journey, we'll be taking our special cargo of Pepper with us. Once we've found Dave and got him safely on board the craft, we'll then make our way up to Enil's nasal passage. We'll release our cargo of Pepper, enough to make Enil sneeze us all out onto a hanky held by Medicine. Oh, I've got to hold a hanky that Enil's going to sneeze into. Couldn't I, like, just go with you guys instead? This is, uh, very heroic. Basil, did you do realise we could suffer the same fate that awaits Dave? Liam, a fox and his faithful sidekick have to do what a fox and his faithful sidekick have to do. <laughs> Even if it means exploding out of Enil's stomach. <laughs> Ready to go, Lieutenant Leo. Aye, aye, Captain Basil. Uh, but uh, how are you going to keep in the contact with us? Uh, I've got that sorted. I'm taking some stamps. <laughs> I'll be sending you postcards. I'll be taking a two-way radio. <clears throat> testing, testing, one, two, three. Are you receiving me? Corporal Medicine. Loud and clear, Captain Basil. Uh, like, over. <laughs> oh, you'll also be able to track our every move once we're inside Enil with this X-ray machine. Lucy? Aye, aye, Captain Basil. <laughs> OK. Initiate phase one of shrink down corporal medicine. Initiating now, Captain Basil. Intergalactic vessel now. This is one small step for man, <laughs> and an even smaller step for Fox Cat. I wish I was going with you. OK. Initiate phase two of Shrink Down. Initiating phase two, Captain Mason. Here goes, guys. OK, Lieutenant Liam. Set pre-entry coordinates. <laughs> pre-entry coordinates set, Captain Basil. Charge up sonic mobilizers. Sonic mobilizers charging up. Are you prepared for launch? Oh, yes. I brought some ham sandwiches and a flask of tea. No, I said launch, not lunch. <laughs> uh, sorry. 
Uh, <laughs> all set for launch. Whoa! Hold on. Stop. Like, what's wrong, Anno? For some strange reason, it doesn't seem right swallowing two of your best friends. <laughs> him a cross between an alien and a cow. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, but which stomach is Dave stuck inside and how is he surviving? I mean, who knows what could be lurking inside Anna? What's going on here? I'm a stomach bug. I'm upsetting his stomach, isn't it? Oh, yeah, very good. Oh, have you got the time? No, I don't have a watch, isn't it? Oh, well, they could be your lucky day. Huh? Get your 100% original counterfeit timepieces. Much more reliable than your body clock. Ooh, nice strap. <laughs> Buzz, buzz. Oh, come on, fellas, hurry up. If they don't find Dave and get him out soon, we could be facing our worst nightmare. What? Being chased by a ten foot blamange with a red kipper. <laughs> Tracker to mission control. We seem to have a problem. Uh-oh. Looks like we've had a malfunction with our power thrust generating unit. Come again? Our batteries have run out. And it was your job to check them. No, it wasn't. Oh, contract. <laughs> Next to the bit about you being responsible for everything that goes wrong. Uh. So are you like saying you're both trapped inside Anna? No! <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Lucy. It's me. Can I have a quick word with Anna, please? Sorry, Dave. You're going to have to phone back later. We're busy trying to save Dave. <laughs> Dave, where are you? I'm in Anna's lower gut. I just wanted to thank him for giving me a great new business opportunity. I've just struck a brilliant deal with the stomach bug. I give him a dodgy watch, and he's given me a timeshare in Anno's liver. Result? Mission control to tummy tracker. We've located Dave. Where is he? In Anno's lower gut. There he is! Ooh. Right, when we get alongside him, you open up the hatch limb and grab him. Here we go. You. But I was just on the verge of flogging a load of bling to some friendly bacteria. We've risked uncharted territory for you. Face terrible dangers. We haven't got time to argue. In fact, mission control, how much time have we got? Less than three minutes, guys. We have to go to Anna's nose now. Even if we had any power, we couldn't get back up to his halter in that time. Well, that's it then. What a way to go. 
Yes. I always thought I might meet my end like this. In a toy spaceship. Stuck inside the stomach of a cafe owner. It was part alien. Part car. No! I'm not going like that! I'm not going out without a fight! I'm too young to die! Besides, I've got 300 cans of burp-tastic cola to get rid of before anyone reads the cell by me. That's it. Anil's burp-tastic cola. Get some of that inside you, Anil, and you're guaranteed to burp us out. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? Is it turbulence? No, we're running back to the cast to get the cola. Hold on tight. <laughs> Like, how many cans have you drank now? It's a 12, isn't it? <laughs> Any sign of a burp? No. Come on, Anil. Come on. <clears throat> burp it out. Burp it out. That's it. Burp it out. Burp. Still here? Nothing's happened? Do you think you could get me some more loo roll? <laughs> and a mop? That's one experience I'll be glad to forget. Yeah. Well, at least you guys are, like, back to normal. <laughs> yeah. Basil, thanks for what you did. I mean, <laughs> what kind of guy puts his friend's welfare above work and money? A wuss. <laughs> that's who. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose we're back at square one financially. I missed out on my dream advert. Dave missed out on his big business opportunity. <laughs> And as for Liam's revolutionary invention, well, it pains me to think. Pains you? <sighs> Imagine a wife. <laughs> I'm sorry you missed out on your big jelly baby commercial, Basil. But I do know of another company looking for someone to be the new face of their product. Really? <laughs> if your tummy's is dicky and is feeling rather sore, try to pick his tummy pills to get the perfect cure. And I should know, when it comes to stomachs, I have inside knowledge. 